it's going to sound crazy, but I was listening to John Lennon's Imagine, one of the worst songs ever made. Like, it's brilliant wizardry, but it's truly horrifying. Imagine there's no heaven, no hell below us. And a, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, but above us only sky, right? So, just like when I stopped watching porn and I replaced it with conspiracy videos, right? The way things work, the way humans work, the way consciousness works, the way everything works, is you have to replace things with things. So we are a people that looks up to God and we pray. And we look up and we can't believe the majesty, the majesty of the clouds and we think about heaven and just the enormity and the beauty of it. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. So we took the, con we took the action of looking up and seeing God, and we don't see God up anymore. We see empty space coupled with infinite possibilities. It's the ultimate wizard spell. So you have these, all these wizards, these high level wizards, and they'll, and they'll phrase it in ways that, that'll blow your fucking mind. Where they're like, this blew my mind when someone said that there's more galaxies in the universe than grains of sand on all the beaches in the world. So you think a galaxy is full of solar systems that are full of planets. I mean, even if you have a bunch of planets with nothing on there, it's like the odds that there's another planet like us or another planet, like it could be anything, right? In your mind now, it goes infinite. It goes anything you can imagine is there. All the grains of sand in all the beaches, there's more galaxies than that, but it's also completely void of everything. Like the space between, it's like one light year is the distance that light travels in a year. That's 186,000 miles a second. So a full year is a distance that we cannot comprehend. That is the emptiness. That is an emptiness that you can't wrap your mind around. And space is completely empty. It has no atmosphere, it has nothing. It is the absence of everything. So what does it do simultaneously? What is this generation lost in space with no time left to... So <clears throat> we look up and we see complete emptiness. Like we are a speck. We are nothing. We are a ball spinning with no direction in a sea of emptiness that we can't possibly conceive of. Nothing is there. But simultaneously, anything you can possibly imagine is up there as well. And so to bridge that gap between uh, science fiction and reality, which is what uh, science attempts to do, science is wrong more than fucking anything. Watch any movie from the 90s or anything where they're just referencing anything scientific. They were wrong about fucking everything. So to bridge that, you had to put a human being up there. You had to blow people's fucking minds. You had to, you had to uh, merge those two ideas, right? So you have the ultimate wizard spell. Infinite emptiness, infinite possibilities, right? You put it in the same place people used to look at God with, right? You used to look at stars to align yourself like where you were you looked at the moon to see like was the harvest moon like uh are we planting right now like how's the tides it, it helped you orient yourself and you focused on the earth and your family and uh your surroundings and you um it gets guys i'm right about this i i like it it's brilliant and evil okay we're thinking about terraforming mars Think, just think, what does that do to a population? Okay, so people are now like, life on Mars. Okay, we skipped all over, the moon is, no one talks about the moon. By the way, the Mars is a red version of the moon. It's just as empty, there's no atmosphere. It's way farther, way harder to get to, apparently. Uh, it's just red, and it's super, it's full of dust, and nothing's there at all. But yet now, everyone's like, gotta get to Mars, right? 
So people are like, okay, we can terraform Mars. We can alter the atmosphere. No one's doing that to fucking Greenland. No one does that to fucking Alberta. You know how much land on Earth? Earth is designed. Earth is perfect for human life. The amount of oxygen and carbon, all that. What are we saying? We are killing our Earth. We are killing it and us being here is ruining our mother. Is we are, carbon emissions is, this will be uninhabitable. So we will have to go to Mars. If you think Earth, like we could detonate all the fucking atomic bombs we've ever made. We could, it would be a utopia compared to anything you could possibly do to Mars. Mars is hostile to all life. Mars, you can't take one breath without instant death. Mars is not capable of having any human life on it without, even theoretically, if it's even possible, uh, an unimaginable amount of technology and engineering to keep you alive as you're in this horror of a landscape. We have a giant Earth and uh, we can do amazing things here and it's designed for life. But yet we're already not looking at it. We're, we're done with it. We've ruined her. We've raped and murdered and we were sacrificed. And now when we look up, we don't see God in the heavens just saying, one day, one day you'll get here, you know, be a good person. You know, you look down, you don't see hell, you don't see Jimmy Savile, all the people that fucked up that are now burning in hell. No, you see like, the mantle and the nickel core and the, 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 they took away our connection to everything and they replaced it with nonsense. Infinite vastness and infinite possibilities and none of it you can ever accomplish. That's the ultimate fucking psyop. It's, it's like, it's perfect and evil as fuck. Just believe, do you question science? Do you question science? How the fuck would you make Mars livable? Why haven't we tried to make the moon livable? And why don't we focus on the earth that's unbelievably livable? We're just so enamored with these fucking wizard priests that don't know shit about science. I know more about science off hand than some of these wizard priests. It's like, they'll just try and blow your mind with like things that you can't imagine. It's like, on Venus, the atmosphere is so dense that two mile an hour wind would knock you right off your feet because of all the density of the atmosphere. And it gets 400 degrees. And it's like, who gives a fuck? We're not going, we're not living there. It's, it's, it's impossible to go there. We can't get back to the fucking moon, apparently. We never went to the moon, guys. We never went to the moon. And there's a reason these lies exist. It's to keep people, it's to keep their eyes in that shit, that just fucking nonsense. Infinite emptiness, infinite nihilism. The amount of empty, just random, hopeless, black coupled with anything you can imagine how the fuck is that not a psyop and then you couple that with the fact that all evidence says that we never went to the moon and that nasa just endlessly lies it was started by an ss nazi who was best friends with walt disney they said they no longer have the technology they erased all the tapes and no other countries ever went to the moon how can you believe that how can you live in a world where you aren't skeptical enough or you're like so just, you just have to fucking fit in? Are you scared? Like, what, what is it? Everything isn't a lie. Yeah, we faked the fucking moon landing. So what? That's a real keyboard. This is a real fucking white claw spritzer. It's freeing. It makes you realize that like that cognitive dissonance that people feel all the time and can't put their finger on it and just get angry at dumb shit. And it's like, just let it go. Hey man, you ever looking to flatter?